Hi, in this video, I'm going to be comparing the wide open throttle amp draw for a 12 volt transom mounted trolling motor with a stock 5 forward 3 reverse speed. Now, this value is going to be compared to the same trolling motor when it's modified for use with a PWM or digital speed controller. I'll be using two separate speed controllers to check the values. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is the motor I'm going to be using in this test. It's a brand new, out of the box, Newport Vessels Kayak Series, 12 volt, 36 pound thrust trolling motor with five forward speeds and three reverse speeds. This is the first test setup, and I've got the stock trolling motor coming down to the battery, and I've got the 40 amp circuit breaker that comes with it. Okay, now you'll be able to read the DC amps there, and I'll start out and ramp up with one through five, and when I get to five, I'll announce that I'm at wide open throttle. One, two, Three, four, five. Wide open throttle, and I'm reading about 29 amps drawn. This is the trolling motor setup for the second part of the test. As you can see, I've removed the head unit and replaced it with the modified top that I'll be using on a kayak with a PWM. And the only wires coming out from the shaft of the motor now are the positive red and negative black. In order to do the second part of the test without the head and switch unit, what I did was cut all the existing wiring out. But to try and keep everything as the same as possible, I'm going to be using this wiring again with the stock circuit breaker that came with it for this part of the test to hook it up to the PWM. This will be the first PWM that I'm going to test with the trolling motor and I built this one using a Minn Kota 12 volt 55 pound Traxxas control board and went ahead and put the box together with a remote. Now I'm going to include the video for this build so you can see how I did it. All right, this test will be with the Minn Kota Traxxas control board PWM that I built, and I will slowly ramp it up to wide open throttle. And it looks like we're getting a max value of 26 amps. This will be the second PWM used in this test. I built this using an unbranded 60 amp continuous 100 amp peak 12 volt PWM that has a fan in it that you can buy off either eBay or Amazon. And I will also include the build for this in the narrative section. Okay, in this test I'm going to be using the 60 amp continuous 100 amp PWM with the fan that I built that you can purchase off eBay or Amazon. And again I'm going to ramp it up to wide open throttle and then get our reading. And it looks like it's going to average out at about 27 amps. After completing the testing, I received a value of approximately 30 amps 
at wide open throttle or max amp draw for the stock trolling motor. Each of the two PWMs came back with values of 27 amps and 26 amps approximately. Now that's a difference of about 3 amps which overall is about 10% difference or amp savings from the stock trolling motor at wide open throttle. Now there's been a lot of theory about that they should be the same value but by testing these the stock trolling motor still loses some of the amps through the switch even though it's at wide open throttle. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.